Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be a haul video. I went to Ulta and they gave me a really tiny bag and they kind of crammed it full. Usually they give me a bigger bag, but it looks kind of deceiving because it's really, really heavy. But I had a gift card from Christmas that I kind of wanted to use up, so I just got a few things. Um, please bear with me if you hear any background noises. It's literally almost... Well, it is 5.30 on a Monday night, so people are upstairs, and it just might be loud, so just bear with me. I did get a lot of stuff on sale, like the Neutrogena Cosmetics were buy one, get one 50% off, and eyelashes, so I did definitely get some savings. Let me just take a sip of my water, and we can jump right into it. Let's just take everything out of the bag. That way there's no crinkling of the bag during filming. First thing I'm going to start with is my eyelashes. I got the Ardell Glamour Lashes in 111 and then I wanted to try these new Ardell Lashes in Edgy 401. They're just very different if you guys can see. It's like they go from like really really thin and kind of see through in the inner part of the eyelash to like a thicker. I don't know, it's just different. And I just kind of wanted to try a different pair of lashes rather than like the 120 Demi's that I always get. And then the 111's just look like this. You guys have seen this in these lashes in previous hauls. So I just got these two pairs of lashes. Then I got these 75 dual tipped cotton applicators. I absolutely love these cotton applicators for winged eyeliner. If you mess it up, you can use the pointy edge if you guys can see it's pointy edges um, just to kind of clean up if it kind of goes like a little too thick or it gets kind of ruined you can just use these to fix it I absolutely love these and I just wanted to pick up another batch of them because I actually don't have any right now so always good to have these two things I got are things that I've talked about time and time again in hauls or just my skincare routine video Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes and these are just the original ones the blue ones they have a bunch of different ones, pink ones, and some of them burn my eyes. I found that these makeup remover wipes are the only ones that don't burn my eyes. They stay super, super moist. I don't like when you have makeup remover towelettes that dry out. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that with towelettes, they get kind of dry, and if you get halfway through the pack and it's all dried out, it's kind of like a waste. So I like these. They stay really, really moist, and they're really, really awesome. They remove all of my makeup, so... Definitely had to pick up some of these, and they were like, buy one, get one 50% off of Neutrogena products, so you can't go wrong. My next two products, again, are Neutrogena. This is new. It's Neutrogena Visibly Bright Daily Facial Cleanser Transforms Dull Tired Skin to Visibly Bright and Refreshed. Looks like this, and it just says that it will transform dull, tired skin to visibly bright and refreshed in just four uses to help get you going. It has soy and vitamin C, and it dissolves skin dulling impurities and tired looking surface skin cells. It's always good to have a cleanser and then a scrub. So this is the deep clean invigorating foaming scrub, energizing micro beads, tingly cool lather. So the thing is, you can use a scrub once a week on your face and use a cleanser every day. So these together are really, really great skincare routines. And I was actually running low on my cleanser. I forget the cleanser I have um, that I've been using. It's by Neutrogena. It's actually green. I don't know the name of it, but I really, really like that. But I just kind of want to try something different. So I don't know if this is going to be any good, but it's new and Neutrogena Visibly Bright. If you guys have tried it, leave in comments below letting me know if you guys like it because I'm kind of interested to see if I'll like it. So again, two facial products. My next two products are NYX products, and I actually was super excited to go to Ulta because I thought they would have the NYX Butter Lipsticks, which I've been wanting to try. Everybody's been going crazy about them, talking about them, so I'm just super curious. They had the testers, but the rest were all sold out, and I actually talked to a person who worked at Ulta, and she's like, we are completely sold out. I don't have any in the boxes, so maybe in the next few weeks they'll get restocked, and it won't be so sold out, but completely sold out. They only had testers left, so I'm kind of disappointed, but I did pick up the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. Never tried this, but I've tried, like, the... These are almost gone. <laughs> I really, really like these. I've tried the NYX Shine Killer, which looks like this. Absolutely loved it. And then I tried the NYX Pore Filler. And this, these both are, like, almost gone. Like, literally, they're really, really low, so I kind of wanted to pick up a new primer. So this is the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. Hopefully I like it. It says that it will give you an unbelievably smooth complexion. It 
might make a huge difference it might not but I'm excited to try it out and find out so and then I just picked up another NYX matte finish long lasting setting spray I actually really really love this setting spray I bought it before and it's pretty much empty so and I have this for a while a couple months I want to say so amazing some setting sprays like model in a bottle and I also have those in the back I do use them but they kind of make my eyes burn I don't know why I actually have the sensitive skin formula and the original and it burns my eyes but this NYX matte finish never burns my eyes so I just wanted to pick up one that doesn't burn my eyes <laughs> and it's it's really good I swear by it I used it before Another thing that I've tried, I picked up again, is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Foundation. This is in Sand Beige. Just want to pick up another one because I think I'm halfway through. My other one, I've been using this foundation for a long time. I don't even know how long, but it's like a foundation I always, always go back to. So I just wanted to pick up another one. It's an amazing, amazing foundation. Truly full coverage. Just really, really great. The Rack Take a Brow, and this is in Brunette. I've featured this, I think, in... An eyebrow tutorial that I haven't done in a while which I'm also planning to do an updated brow tutorial very very soon guys I bought some brow products today so I'm super excited to give you guys that but this is the Lorac take a brow I just threw away my other one because I've had it for so long and I just wanted to get a newer one so this is what it looks like you have your wax you have your dark color and then your lightest color so I love this little brow kit. I think it's amazing. It actually comes with a little brush, but I don't like these little brushes because the handles are so short, and I just like my brushes to be longer, but it's kind of cool that it comes with a brush, but I never use it, so I may as well just not keep it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like, and like I said, the wax, the darkest part, and the lightest part, it's a great little brow kit, and something that I always go back to, so love it. And my next product is the Anastasia dip brow pomade it's a waterproof brow color ideal for sculpting defining and carving perfectly precise brows that won't fade smudge free creamy formula glides on skin and adheres to hair must have for oily skin in humid climates tighten cap to prevent drying so it's basically kind of like a creamy consistency and and I've never bought anything except a brow pencil or brow powder so I definitely wanted to try this pomade like I said it's like a creamy consistency to see if I would like it so I'm definitely gonna do um, a little trial on both of these products and kind of see what I like more and then definitely give you guys a eyebrow tutorial who knows I might actually use these two things in conjunction and kind of figure out a way to make them work with each other don't know yet but definitely excited to do an updated eyebrow tutorial just because a lot of things have changed since my last one I want to say my last eyebrow tutorial is over a year old well let me tell you things have changed so definitely looking forward to doing that last two products um, this is the Hula by Benefit it's just a bronzing powder been hearing a lot of stuff about it kind of just wanted to give it a go it comes with a pretty cute brush once again I don't like these short stubby brushes and for some reason they always give you like these little weird short brushes so and this is what it looks like and yeah I just wanted to try it. I actually really think the packaging is super super cute but I've heard so many good things about Hula's um, bronzer by Benefit so just wanted to give it a try really really excited to try it my last product is the Urban Decay D Slick makeup setting spray oil control so I was gonna get the Urban Decay all nighter one of my favorite setting sprays but um, I decided to kind of try the D Slick. Just kind of wanted to give something different a try and see how much I really like it. It says that it will actually control your oil, and I notice in my T zone I get oily throughout the day, so I'm interested to see if this setting spray will actually do a really, really good job of controlling my like T zone oil. So that is everything I got at Ulta today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul. I haven't done a haul in forever, so I was like, it's about that time. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Okay? Bye, babies. Can we, like, first of all, just talk about how amazing my jacket is? I just love it. It's so furry. Keeping me warm. <laughs> What was that?
there. There's ghosts down here. Ghost, ghost, ghost. I've never bought anything for eyebrows other than an eyebrow pencil and brow prep. Bleh. Cannot talk wow. <laughs> definitely, definitely excited to do an update updated. This is gonna create a more smoky effect to this look. 